There Will Be Time by Paul Anderson. Overview. Jack Havoc has been able to time travel at will ever since he was, well, born. The only friend he seems to have allowed for during his own time has been his doctor. The doctor gives an account of Jack's travels to the past and how other time travels from the past and future, but like the past past, which have some in the future, but there are also some real future people who are present, but then go to the past to go to the future to maybe hopefully stop a nuclear war, but some do stop it, maybe don't. Uh, Time travel. It's fantastic. Review. Jack Havoc has a genetic mutation that allows him to travel through time and finds out that an apocalypse will occur to the human race unless he does something about it. He meets up with other mutated people. He finds out uh, the leader is a racist who wants to uh, call people in the second age of man. What can Jack do? And is it worth doing anything? What a jumbled mess of the story this was. With time travel, the reader is either at a fixed point in time hearing about the tale or you follow the traveler on his journey. With the fixed point, which the story is, there's bound to be a lot of jumping around because, well, that's just what it feels like from your stationary point. The jumping around here is in Paul Anderson coming into paragraphs with about two previous ones missing. Plot points are picked up and then dropped. Jack goes to the date of his crucifixion to meet other time travelers so as to prevent the end of the world. No one bothers to look upon the scene of the most famous event in history, which would have been really interesting perspective to show the otherness of time travelers. But the reason for meeting up is really dropped. A change to the white ruler in the second age of man is brought about, but the salvation from the apocalypse isn't even discussed again. There is some great understanding of Anderson to not just drop his time travel characters into the midst of the date where the traveler has to arrive, though. He understands how much information gathering would have to be accomplished, how slow it would take to amass any wealth and influence. However, the time length to carry this out is brushed over too quickly and it skips around from needing to find a way to carry out the big plan to I like this family to I've fallen in love. Again, with time travel aspects of the story, one might think it was done on purpose, but that seems to be an excuse one would give for poor story structure. The story is an attempt to be told from a meeting Jack has with his childhood doctor, who is the only normal person he knows uh, that he's a time traveler. This is really an interesting point of view to take. However, it is quickly dropped just to follow Jack's perspective with a few asides to bring the doctor back into focus. This is like a found footage film that forgets it needs to have the perspective of found footage to maintain the storytelling element it started off with. The timing of everything is also way off. I know a book about time travel can hand wave this away, but the entirety of the book from Jack's perspective still feels like a lifetime, but it only shows his was a period of about 30 years under his belt. The amount of time Jack takes to fall in love is way too quick and without connection is done to only provide a dramatic point to advance the plot for its sake. The emotion is tread on without the buildup to pay it off in the end. The final 20 page of this book feels like the final act of a book. It's so rushed. The hop, skip and jump around you expect from a time trouble book is obtained from only the clunky writing of Anderson. Character development is non-existent. Why do characters that supposedly care about Byzantine rulers and the end of the world not care about the crucifixion? Why is there any attempt to care about the apocalypse when there's, uh, they're so rare to no connection with anyone in the world due to their mutated powers? The big question of God, life, time that the book brings up are only shrugged off without satisfaction while anything the characters care about suddenly become the only things worth knowing. Most of the connecting pieces to the story are missing. One would have to go back in time and add them in. Final grade, D. 